hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's me ij your fashion teacher and here is ij designs i'm happy to be back again with another tutorial but before we go on i would like to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers both new and old i appreciate you all you all are the best and i will always co continue to deliver what i have for you guys so today's tutorial is to make a flay skirt a flay skirt with panels is going to be flay down with panel on top of it and also is going to be of three steps so today's tutorial is how to make a long flay skirt with panels on it so without wasting much time let's get into drafting i'll use this paper to draft or to show to you guys what we are going to do it's going to be of three we are going to cut it out in three types in three stages before we start fixing them all so now i would like to explain to you guys what we're going to achieve today now i would like to explain to you guys what we are going to achieve today this is the skirt we are going to make if you can see here I just gave a little sketch of what we are going to achieve. It is a long skirt with flay under it and also with panels above it. This side is going to be the pencil skirt at the upper side of it. It's from the waist to the a bit lower part from the hip. When you get to your hip, maybe you add some few inches. You are making this one as a pencil skirt where then you can attach the flay and also the panel so now this skirt we are making is length 43 is a length 43 so we are going to the first one we are going to cut out is 15 inches that is the pencil part of it the pencil part of it the pencil skirt part of it that we are going to cut out is 15 inches that is this line but that 15 inches, we are not going to cut it out completely because we are, it's going to have a band. The band is one and a half inch. So we are going to remove one and a half inch from the 15 inches. So what we are going to cut out is 13 and a half inches plus half inch to join it to the band and also half inch to join it to the flay and the panel is going to be 14. 0.5 inches we are going to cut out in this pencil part of it that is this first part so coming down to this one this this one you are seeing here is the flay that is going to be under it then the panels will be above the flay so it's going to look like a paneled blouse when you're making a paneled peplum but it's under it it's going to also have flay so that is the skirt we are going to achieve and this flay part of it, because the length we are making is 43, you will now minus the 15 inches of the pencil skirt above, then we'll be left with 28 inches. So this flay, I'm going to cut out 28 inches. Then the panel, I would like the panel to be 15 inches. That will be uh, uh, above the flay. It's going to be 15 inches. So now we are going to determine our panel first cutting out flay we know how to cut out flay but still i'm going to explain it but now we're going to work on the panel after which we will now cut out the first pencil skirt of it that is the short one that will be fixed with the panel and the flay so now let us determine our panels so i'm going to use this paper now to determine our panel i'm going to cut it out draft it here after drafting it, then I'll place it on my material and I'll cut it out. And this panel I'm cutting out, I want to, I want it to be six, three in the front, three at the back. So it's going to be six panels. So that is the panel I'm going to cut out, six panels. And now, before cutting the panels out, we are going to derive some measurements. As you can see, to attach it here, the the circumference, the circumference that I need to attach it is thirty-seven. That is the opening of the pencil skirt where I will attach it is 37 inches. So this 37 inches, I'm going to add more 6 inches to it. Where do I get the 6 inches? 
six inches is the allowances that will be on the panels because the panel each panel will have one inch half side half this side half this side to join to each other so it's going to be six inches so this 37 inches which is the circumference of the opening plus the six inches the allowances to the panel is going to give us 43 so this 43 i'm going to divide it by six to know how many panels i'm going to have so if i divide it by these six panels i'm going to have seven inches 7.1 so let's make it seven inches so this seven inches now i will use it to cut out my panel so the panel i'm going to fold now let's assume this is my material i folded it in two so since i folded it in two so this seven will be divided in two dividing seven in two you are going to have 3.5 so let's measure out 3.5 here i'll measure out 3.5 here is my 3.5 so what is the length of the panel that i'm adding I, I said it's 15 inches so i'm going to measure my 15 inches this is 15 inches plus half inch seam allowance so now i'm going to determine how full i would like the panels to be if you want it to be full the minimum the, the minimum that you can add to it is two that is times the the times what you have that is like the 3.5 times it by two but i'm going to times times my by three so 3.5 times three 3.5 times three i'm going to have 10.5 so I'm, I'm going to mark here 10.5 so this 10.5 when you open it up, you are going to have 21 inches. So it's going to be full. So from this 10.5, I'm going to connect it to the 3.5. So I've connected it to the 3.5. So this is the 3.5. And this is the 10.5. So we have connected it. The next thing we have to do is to go up from this place, from this area that we joined the 3.5 to the 10.5. I'm going to go up by 2 inches because I would like it to curve. I would not like it to be in a straight line. So I would like it to curve. So I'm going to curve it in this manner. Do you see it? I've curved it in this manner. So that it's going to look really paneled. So now I'm going to cut it out. So from this 3.5 that we came down to 10, we went up by 2 inches. And from the 2 inches, we connect to the edge of the, the paper. So now let's cut it out. Now remember to add your half inch here when you are cutting it. So all together, the, uh, the allowance you are going to have here and here is is going to be one inch from the upper and the downside is going to be one inch remember the allowance for this side has been added that is why we added the six inches to the 37 that we had the opening of the skirt where we are going to join the panel so now look how the panel is going to be this is how the panel is going to be the panel is going to be in this form do you see it that is how the panel is going to be in this form so with this now, I am going to place it to my material and I'll cut out six of it. Also, I'll cut out six lining of it. Then after that, I'm going to cut out the flame. Remember, this the panel is coming on top of the flame. So I'm going to cut the flame. I'm going to also use the 37 inches that we have here as the opening. I'm going to divide it by 6.28. So whatever I have is going to be my radius. And that is what I'm going to use to cut out my flay. I remember the length of the flay is going to be 28. Because already we have removed the upper part of it, which is 15. So add 1 inch to also the 28 for allowance. That is going to be 29. So whatever I have. So now 30, 37 divided by, two, by 6.28. 
is going to give me 5.8 5.8 so this 5.8 i'm going to add the 29 inches to it so i'll be left with 34 inches so this 34 inches is what i'm going to cut out 34 inches is what i'm going to cut out from the flay that we are going to make and remember the upper part of it is 15 the pencil skirt of it the pencil side of it is going to be 15 inches so i'm going to cut all these things out then i'll show it to you now guys the panels have been cut out this is the six pieces this is the six pieces do you see it we have cut it out and this is also the lining and this is the flay like i told you that's the flay that is going to be under it that's the flay it has also been cut out I cut out a full circle flay. This is going to be under it. It's good. The panel is going to be on top in this form, on top of it. So now, <laughs> the next thing to do, and now this is the pencil skirt I'm telling you. I've cut it out also. Like I said, the length is going to be 14 and half inch. Do you see it here? This is 14 and half inch. You cut it in a pencil skirt form but it's going to be short because you are going to add this that is it so now what is my waist my waist is 32 32 divided by 4 is going to give me 8 8 plus 1 1 that allowance i will have it will have a that so i'll add my that allowance and it's one inch plus seam allowance that is 10 so look at it this is my 10 inches the waist is 10 so from the waist remember we took away we took away one and a half inch as the band the band is one and a half inch so that is why we had it shorter so now and the length like i said is 16 inches is 15 plus one inch seam allowance both the front the upper part of it and the down part of it that is the 16. do you see it so on my hip area my hip from my waist to my hip is 7.5 so now i have the my hip is 41 41 divided by 4 is going to give me 10.5 so I don't want to add extra. I want it to be fitted. So I only added one inch seam allowance. Then this is the opening I said. That is where we are going to attach our flay and our panel. That is the 37 inches. Then the, here, that is the 37 inches. This opening. So I, will, I use this first front, first panel. And I cut out the back panel. Just the difference. So the back panel is only to add one inch seam allowance, which is here. Do you see it? One inch seam allowance. That is the only difference from the front and the back. One seam allowance. Then I cut it out. So our pencil skirt, little pencil skirt is now ready. So the next thing to do is because I want it to be strong. So I'm going to attach a gum stay to it, the hard gum stay. Because I want it to stand. I want the panel to stand. So I'm going to add to the lining. Is to the lining. I'm going to add the gum stay, the hard gum stay. I will add it to it. After which I will now sew it together. I will add the gum stay to the lining. After which I will now sew it together to the main material. Look at the main material. I will sew it together like this. I'll sew it together like this. After sewing it together, then I'll join the panels. I'll join the panels. After joining the panels, then I'll take, I'll take this. That is the first stage of it. That is the pencil skirt. I'll take in my, that's one inch seam allowance for the dart. I'll take it in both the front and the back. I'll take it in and I'll also do same to the, lining i'll take them in then after that i'll come back to show to you guys how it look before we now start putting them together yes our panel have been fixed like i said this is the pencil skirt we are 
the others will be attached to. I have taken in the half inch that. This is the back and this is the front. The half inch that have been taken in and also I've joined the front and back panel together. That's the back. That is the back. I've joined the front and back together. So the pencil skirt now is ready so that we can attach other panels to it. So that is the pencil skirt where others will be attached to. It is now ready. So the next one is our panel. Like I said, I have fixed the panels. Before fixing it, I showed to you guys, I told you guys how to do it. That's the lining to it. Do you see it? I put it hard gum stay. It's this panel in total. And while fixing the panels, don't start from the upper side of it to fix it. Always start from the back side of it to fix it so that it will be in uniform, so that it will be the same. So that it will be the same. Do you see it? So the panels that we cut out, the panels have been joined together. That's the six panels. I added it gum stay to make it look thick, to make it stand. And also I joined the six together. Remember it has lining. You see on the lining that I put the gum stay, then I join it to the main material. And don't forget to top stitch it at the down. It makes it look more neater. So the panel is also fixed. The six panels is also fixed. And now that is the flay. That is the flay part of it. That is the flay part of it. Because this flay part of it, I wanted to add it lining and also add it net. I added net, can you see it? Under it to make it also to stand, I added net. So in order to add net, I had to cut it out in two forms. The first one is the flay. I, I reduced the length of the flay. Normally the length of the flay is supposed to be 28 plus seam allowance 29. But I reduced it to 22 in order to add these 7 inches on top. So I now reduce it to 22 and on that 22 I determine my flay. Then the upper side of it, I now use it to add the lining. Do you see the lining? And also the net to make it stand. So if you don't want to add it net or lining, you don't bother cutting it into two. You cut out your full flay and you are good to go. Do you see it now? So now the next thing now is to attach them together. I'll take this, the panel and the flare one. I'll sew it together. I'll put it in this form. Do you see it? I'll sew it together in this form. After sewing it together, the right side of the flare will face the wrong side of the panel. I'll sew it together. After sewing it together, then I will now attach our pencil skirt to it. Now the pencil skirt will come on top like this. I will attach it to it. Then after which I will put in the zipper. I have not added the zip. I will put in the zip. That is the space for the zip. I will add the zip and also our band. Then our skirt is ready. Then I will show it to you guys. So remember, these two has to be joined together. Because the panel is going to be on top of the flay, like I said, that's the flay. Do you see it? Our panel skirt with flay is now ready. Can you see it? Can you see it? The panel skirt with flay. I've attached the band. I've attached the band and also hem the down part of it. I used horse hair to hem it because I want it to be a little bit of celebrity skirt. So I hem it with horse hair. So our panel skirt is now ready. Do you see it? I will now place it on the mannequin. As you can see behind me, that's the blouse 
of it. Also, the blouse is a paneled blouse. So I'm going to place it on the blouse for us to see how it looks like. Now, guys, have you seen how our paneled skirt with flare looks like on the mannequin? Do you see it? So our panel skirt with flare is now ready and I place it here for us to see. I'm also going to put on the blouse of this. It's also a paneled blouse so that we'll see how both will look like. Now guys, this is the blouse. That is the panel blouse of the panel skirt we have just made. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it fantastic? If this tutorial on how to make a paneled skirt with flay has been useful to you, kindly give me a thumbs up, like, share and comment on my videos. And don't forget to put on the notification bell that whenever I upload a new video, you watching me will be the first to be notified. I made this clothes for my Christmas. Christmas is all about red and white. So I decided to make this for my Christmas as my Christmas clothes. So make one for yourself and tag me on Instagram or on Facebook. I'm there as IJ Designs, Instagram and Facebook, Iconic IJ or Ijoma Uzoma. Make one for yourself and tag me. And don't forget to subscribe, please, to my YouTube channel. I love you guys and I'll continue to be sharing my knowledge with you. See you in my next video. Bye.